Hey love, so we're gonna get right into this video. So as you guys see, I do have my mannequin head out and I just finished creating, well not just, but I just went ahead and created this unit by Hot Love Hair. This is their Brazilian straight and it is pretty darn long. I did sew it on a spandex mesh dome cap and this one is actually in a size extra large. I went ahead and got some extra large caps this time because I just wanted to see the difference in them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my T-pin and I'm going to tack that wig down onto my mannequin head. Um, these mannequin heads, I did purchase them from the my local beauty supply store. They are used, so if you have a local beauty supply store in the hood, then definitely check them out and ask them do they have any of their mannequins that they would like to sell. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this styling mousse on the hair. This styling mousse is not one of my favorites, but I picked it up from the Dollar Tree because I didn't have any more of my favorites. So I'm just going to take the styling mousse and distribute it throughout the hair you don't want to saturate it but you just want to kind of like you know thoroughly brush it through the hair this helps with holding the curls it also helps with any flyaways or styling it just in general helps with the styling in general so you want to go ahead and get yourself a nice paddle or vent brush and brush this thoroughly through the hair but remember don't saturate it my number one suggestion is don't get styling mousse from the Dollar Tree because it's not all that. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hair clips and separate the hair, like section it off. This just makes it a lot easier. You guys know, I told you, I really don't like to curl hair on camera, especially on my head. But if I have to, I will definitely put it on a mannequin head. Now I'm going to take one of my curling wands. This curling wand is from the irresistible um, irresistibleme.com website. This is their eight interchangeable wand collection and I love this wand system you know I always use it it's called I think it's called the sapphire um, I love this wand so much because it comes with all of these different styling wands and it's just like amazing the heat gets up to 450 degrees so it's super easy to use so as you guys see I'm taking the hair and I'm just twirling it around I'm wrapping it around but at the same time I'm wrapping it around the barrel I'm also twirling the hair so it comes out with a different kind of curl pattern if I was just to wrap the hair around then it will come out with like kind of like a loose spiral type of curl but being that I'm going to go ahead and take it section it and I'm wrapping and twirling wrapping and twirling the hair kind of like wrap and turning the hair and I'm getting it throughout the entire barrel and it'll come out with more or less like waves like a loose wave or loose beachy wave versus a curl when you're just wrapping it around you're getting a curl but as you guys can see my wrists are kind of like turning and I'm twirling the hair as I wrap it around the barrel it's just super easy um but you get really nice curls like that so like I was saying this is a lot of hair um, it's super long it's 24 inches 24 22 22 and a 20 inch closure you guys know I'm not super tall I'm 5'3 and I'm so that's kind of short the hair is really long I mean back in the days I really did like the hair to be really long but I don't know like 20 inches to me is like long enough especially when you make a wig like if I were to buy a lace wig like you know in those factory wigs I would definitely not want it to be 20 inches because that would be like short but when you make it you know you put the 20 inches the 20 inch um, bundle at the bottom of the cap so it really appears to be more or less like 22 you know what I'm saying but I don't really do the 24 because it's kind of long and also when it's super long you don't really hold that much body and it's just more to tangle more to upkeep so I just think like 20 inches looks the best on me so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep sectioning the hair now let me tell you guys it is tedious it is time consuming but I will be honest and tell you it's so worth it and I think like when you style the wig on a mannequin head it makes it so much easier and also you get like the best freaking curls ever like seriously like when I styled it on my head last week for a tutorial the curls came out great but they didn't come out as nice as I normally can do them so I would definitely tell you guys to get yourselves a mannequin head you can also get them off of Amazon or eBay but just keep in mind you're not getting them for ten dollars definitely with the shipping but yeah I get all the mines from the beauty supply store and I probably bought about 12 of them and I love them I I don't make my wigs on these now keep in mind I do not make the wigs on these things I have a wig making blockhead which is great for making wigs I don't make wigs on styrofoam heads because they're not true to size so I do have quite a few wig blockheads 
that I use to make the wigs and they vary in sizes but for washing the wig and styling the wig I definitely use these um, wig model mannequins because they're perfect they get the job done when you're washing it you just pin them down you can sit them under the sink or in the tub and your hair doesn't tangle and you also allow them to air dry on the mannequin head and it comes out perfect and plus when you're styling and curling it it's amazing your wig will be done in within like a matter of time but when you have something super long like this it does take a little bit longer so as for hot love hair I love their name it's really cool hot love hair um the hair quality is great and you know it's like average it's not like oh my god I'm about to do backflips for it but I would say yeah go out and go out and buy it because it is worth it you know especially if you're on a budget or you don't want to spend a lot on hair then definitely check them out like I don't really like to spend a lot on hair because it's just hair I'm not saying we're gonna keep the same hair forever however there is a wig you guys that I love and I'm trying to keep it forever which is my blonde wig that I made but if you're not into like keeping it forever and you want something that's pretty on a budget then definitely check them out so I'm not gonna waste you guys this time with styling it all on camera so we're gonna get on to the rest of this video all right you guys so this has been like a really really long day for me it is already 7 30 in the evening and you guys know I normally film like all of my videos during the daytime because I love like that natural light I have to use my ring light it's not so dark I'm not fighting with anything um, so yes it's been a super duper long day and let me tell you something my vibe and my feng shui is like like on five right now instead of it being on ten it is like really on five so please excuse me as I I am like I've had a long day so we're just gonna finish this up this hair took so long to curl because it's so much of it it's long 24 24 22 22 and a 20 inch closure like this is a lot of hair and it's straight so as you guys seen in the video I did use some styling mousse I actually picked this up from the Dollar Tree it's not the best unfortunately but this is what I had on me at the time and I also used some of my favorite Aussie instant freeze hairspray on it I didn't want to show you guys the whole entire process on video because it would have took entirely too long so I didn't think it was like you know important to show the whole thing especially because it would have been the same curl pattern but I finally finished this and I just wanted to show you guys how I make straight hair like have more volume or whatever and the first thing I'll tell you guys it does come with a pre-tweezed middle part so I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer in that you gotta go and get angry at all of my honesty you know I try but I don't do too well with the pot all right you guys
so as you guys seen I did not like it in the middle part at all um, I just you know what I'm not feeling it when my hair is this long like in all honesty this is a lot of length for me like I don't really do my hair this long anymore I'm just like over the long long lengths so for 24 inches it's like girl can we can I get like 20 inches like I don't know I'll be like oh the most I'll do is 22 and it might not seem like that much of a difference but it really is a big difference for me versus 24 like 24 is very long to me and then it seems like when you get the longer you get the less body you have and that's just my opinion on it so when I have hair when I make a wig and I wear it like I just like for it to be really like right about now no longer than 20 inches because 20 inches is like right here on me like right here and that's long enough because it gets really full but this is like a very lengthy hair and I guess for my height you know what I'm saying it, sometimes it doesn't work out that great but I mean if I had to wear very long hair it probably definitely would not be like straight I would definitely probably have it like loose wave not even curly because curly hair gets really big sometimes it would definitely have to be loose wavy so that way it could just be wavy i wouldn't have to do anything with it it's i think like loose wavy hair is really pretty especially if it's long because it's just so flowy and sexy but for this one it's straight and you know i had to kind of like put my own like kind of type of curls in it and they didn't really stay in as much as i would have wanted them to but you know what it is what it is so in my opinion, like, um, the hair is very soft, and of course, it did shed, you know what I'm saying, when I washed it, um, but as you've seen in the video, it did part, I mean, it did curl easy, but, you know, it's straight hair, so... Nine times out of ten, straight hair is just like really hard to curl. That's why I use like styling mousse and um, hairspray because that seems like it's the only thing that really works. And I just, you know what I'm saying, I don't really do too many middle parts. So for it to be like this, it was just like, oh my God, it's a lot of hair. And especially for this side, this side was not laying as flat as this side. So I definitely had to do something different with it. I do like it better like this versus in the middle because girl... That was like a no bueno for me. But yes, hot love hair. Like, whoever even thought of that name? Hot love hair. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the size of the cap, this time I used a spandex mesh dome cap in a size extra large. I always use those caps, but I use the extra large. And let me tell you something. If you got a lot of hair or your head is just bigger than average... This cap will definitely fit you. It is a little bit roomy on me, so I definitely have my wig grip headband on. Underneath, I have the black one on and not this like light brown one because you see it through the thing. But um, the black one, you don't never see it. But it holds it in place, so it's not so roomy on me. But if I didn't put this on, it would be kind of like roomy on me. Normally, what I do is I'll just sew the, I'll sew the cap in a little bit, but... Because the hair is so long, I definitely don't think like this would be something that I would rock on an everyday basis. I just don't do the really long hair. But as you can see, it's got a nice luster to it. It's really smooth. Um, it was really easy to sew with. I like it straight too because it's very full. I used all of the hair. It probably except for like this much of the hair, but it just went really smooth. But like I said, it did shed. I think they all do shed. You know, it is what it is. Um, but you know, if you girls are on a budget, you know, I always tell you guys check around check the reviews etc etc you know i'm pretty sure that because of the holidays they'll definitely have like you know what i'm saying a black friday sale i think like there's going to be a million hair vendors that's going to have like a black friday sale so you'll definitely want to check out hot love here i'll put all of the information below for this brazilian virgin straight like i said they do have some really nice packaging though i will say that like i mean you know it came in a regular dhl bag and stuff but i like the way they had their labels on it and and how the bags were individually wrapped it wasn't like that crinkly hard plastic because that's that's so annoying but yeah so the hair came out well it's very long for my taste um probably for a lot of people's taste but you know it's cute and you know i just think like for me less is more you know what i'm saying less is definitely more this hair is like drowning because it's so long so I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this very long Rapunzel hair. And I'll see you guys in the soon to come video.